Today we are going to learn about the general equation of a circle in its expanded form. The national five essential skills are substitution and rearranging equations. The general equation of a circle in its expanded form is given to you in the exam formula sheet as x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals zero. To find the center from the expanded form, you look at the coefficient of x for your x coordinate and the coefficient of y for your y coordinate. So the center is given as negative g and negative f. And also to get our radius, we have to square g, square f, subtract c, and then take the square root. Please note, for a circle to exist and for a radius to be there, g squared plus f squared minus c must be greater than zero. Example one. A circle has equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y minus 6 equal to zero. Find the radius and centre of this circle. First of all, we'll write down the general equation of the circle from our formula sheet. From there, we will write our equation from the question. Once we've done that, we can compare our coefficients of x and y so that we can then obtain g and f. So 2g is equal to negative 6, which will give g equal to minus 3. 2f is equal to 2, therefore f is equal to 1. And the value of c is negative 6. From there, we can obtain our centre. So our centre is negative g, negative f. So if g is minus 3, our centre will have an x coordinate of positive 3. And if f is 1, our centre will have a y coordinate of negative 1. So our centre is 3 minus 1. Last thing we have to do is use the formula sheet to find the radius. So our formula for our radius is the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. So it's negative 3 squared plus 1 squared minus minus 6. And we'll take the square root of this. So 9 plus 1 plus 6 is going to give the square root of 16, which is going to be a radius of 4. Look at the questions below and identify which equations represent a circle. If they represent a circle, we will give it a tick, and if not, we will give it a cross. We will look at A and B together. A, 4x squared plus 4y squared equals 9. This has x squared and y squared with the same coefficient. Therefore, it is a circle, and it does represent a circle. Have a look at B x squared plus 4y squared plus 6x plus 8y plus 9 equal to 0. x squared and y squared don't have the same coefficient, therefore this does not represent a circle. Can you pause the video and try the remaining questions on your own? Okay, so the answers for C, again, same coefficient, we also have a constant term, so it is a circle, but for D, it has no Y squared term, so it's definitely not a circle. And the remaining answers, E is a circle, F is a circle, G is not, H is a circle, I is a circle, and J is not a circle. Example 2. A circle has equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x 
plus 6y plus k equal to 0. Find the range of possible values for k. So remember for this to represent a circle we need to have um, g squared plus f squared minus a greater than 0. So we need to be looking at our radius. First of all though we will look at our centre and we will compare our circle equation with the general form. Comparing this we can see that 2g is equal to 4 so g is 2. 2f is equal to 6, so f is 3, and we have a c value that is k. From here we can see that our centre is negative g, negative f, which will be negative 2, negative 3. Next, we will make a sketch just to help you in your thought process. So negative 2, negative 3 is plotted, and here we can see the formula for finding the radius of the circle. So we'll use this formula and our knowledge of the radius to help find values for k. So if r equals the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c, we will plug in our values for f, g and c. So 2 squared plus 3 squared minus k. This means, however, our radius um, for it to exist, we need to make sure that g squared plus f squared minus c is greater than 0. Therefore, 2 squared plus 3 squared minus k has to be greater than 0. So 4 plus 9 minus k is greater than 0, which rearranged will give negative k greater than negative 13. Therefore, k is less than 13. So the range of values for k would be k less than 13. So now try these examples for yourself. Please pause the video. And the answers for question 1, the centre was negative 3, negative 4 and our radius was root 20 which simplifies to 2 root 5. Please remember to fully simplify all thirds um, to gain full marks in the higher exam. And question 2, our centre is minus 8 plus 1 and our radius is 5. So what have we learned today? Today we've learned about the general equation of a circle and its expanded form. We can find the centre and the radius of the circle using the general form and we can compare coefficients. To get the centre it's negative g negative f, the radius is the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c and we must remember the fact that for a circle to exist g squared plus f squared minus c has to be greater than zero.